It looks like we'll never get Canelo Alvarez versus the Mexican monster. I get it. I often said, make your own legacy. David Benavidez, um, he just can't make the weight anymore. He can't stick around and he's been threatening to move up. Stop chasing Canelo, bro. You feel me? Don't, the man don't look like he wanna fight you. You feel me? That fight right there can be one of those ones that, you know, can. It's incredibly sad to see that we may never get to see one of the biggest boxing fights in the super middleweight division. This is a fight that is highly anticipated by many, and there still could be a glimmer of hope. However, the latest news about Benavidez moving up to the light heavyweight division could kill all hopes for the Canelo versus Benavidez fight. There is a lot of drama involving Benavidez lately, so make sure you stick around and watch this one right till the end. You see, David Benavidez has tried to stay patient for a very long time in hopes that he would get a shot at fighting Canelo Alvarez at super middleweight. The Mexican monster has been calling out Canelo for a long time now and has done everything in his path to convince the current undisputed super middleweight champion to fight him. He even defended his WBC interim super middleweight title belt against Demetrius Andrade last year in hopes that the WBC would force Canelo to fight him as a mandatory fighter in 2024. Unfortunately for Benavidez, the WBC has failed to take any action against Canelo, and it's unlikely they'll do anything about the hopeless situation Benavidez finds himself in. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman recently opened up on the situation and stated that there is a high possibility a fight between Benavidez and Canelo could take place. In an interview with pro boxing fans, the council president was asked if he could make the bout happen. There, Suleiman explained, Benavidez apparently he is going to do a title defense of his interim title, and Canelo will make a defense of his titles, but that fight is one everybody wants to see. It's boxing at the highest level. It's a fight that's building to be an unbelievably huge event, and I'm confident it will happen. Uh, Benavides apparently is going to do a title defense of his interim, and Canelo a title defense of his titles. And uh, but that's that's a fight everyone wants to see. While the WBC president raised everyone's hopes about the possibility of this fight taking place, he didn't share any other details such as the potential date for this fight. Many therefore assumed that these were just false claims by the WBC. Angry fans took to X to expose the WBC. One user wrote, Why hasn't he clarified when the fight will be ordered? The WBC are helping Canelo duck Benavidez. Another stated, Canelo protection program strikes again. Another user wrote, They can't keep hiding from Benavidez forever. The cream will rise to the top eventually. One user slammed the WBC by predicting what could be the outcome. They wrote, He beat Plant and Andrade back to back, but they conveniently wait until March to make him Canelo's mandatory. Of course, they're going to name him mandatory after Canelo gets to choose who he wants to fight next. Meanwhile, another hopeful user stated, Canelo said he doesn't want to fight against fellow Mexican boxers. But then again, Benavidez is technically an American, so this bout could be on the table hash Canelo Benavidez. Fans are on the fence about this fight happening on May 4th. Some feel that Canelo will fight Benavidez while others are frustrated about the WBC shielding Canelo. The latest developments have once again reignited talks about Canelo's chances against the Mexican monster. David Benavidez is not an ordinary opponent. His unique blend of size, power, and speed, combined with an aggressive approach to combat, sets him apart as a threat to even the most seasoned fighters. Benavidez's style is characterized by an unyielding offense and a knack for overwhelming his adversaries, traits that have led him to an unbeaten record and a reputation as a fearsome competitor. Canelo, however, is no stranger to adversity. His career is a narrative of triumphs over challenges that would have daunted a lesser athlete. The Mexican superstar has faced and defeated a roster of boxing elites, including Gennady Golovkin, Daniel Jacobs, and Sergei Kovalev. Each of these victories showcased not just Canelo's skill and power, but his adaptability and strategic acumen. Against Golovkin, Canelo displayed his resilience and ability to trade blows with one of the hardest hitters in the middleweight division. In his fight with Jacobs, he demonstrated tactical brilliance, outmaneuvering a versatile and dynamic opponent. And against Kovalev, 
Canelo moved up two weight classes to deliver a stunning knockout, proving his power transcends the boundaries of weight divisions. Yet, Canelo doesn't want to entertain talks about fighting Benavidez, who is a mandatory fighter at this point. When I say I don't want to fight Mexican, it's because I represent Mexico. And that's why. But I don't care. I fight anybody. The Mexican monster's dad, Jose Benavidez Sr., believes Canelo is afraid of fighting his son. Benavidez Sr. expressed skepticism about Canelo's willingness to face David. He suggested that Canelo is avoiding the fight with David by making various excuses, indicating a lack of interest in facing his son. Benavidez Sr. criticized Canelo for choosing to fight other opponents like Jaime Munguia and Jermal Charlo, whom he perceives as less challenging compared to David. He argued that Canelo's selection of opponents demonstrates a preference for easier fights, implying that Canelo is scared to face David due to the threat he poses. Benavidez Sr. highlighted David's accomplishments and the challenges he has overcome, emphasizing his son's readiness to take on any fighter, including Canelo. He expressed frustration with the politics of boxing, which he believes are preventing the fight from happening, despite David being a mandatory challenger for Canelo. Benavidez Sr. conveyed a sense of injustice regarding the situation, feeling that Canelo's team is deliberately avoiding a matchup with David. Throughout the conversation, Benavidez Sr. maintained a confident tone regarding his son's abilities and prospects in the boxing world. He stressed the importance of staying focused and patient, believing that an opportunity for David to prove himself against Canelo or any other top fighter will eventually arise. Benavidez Sr.'s comments reflect a belief in his son's talent and a desire for him to face the best in the sport, including Canelo, whom he views as avoiding a significant challenge by not agreeing to fight David Benavidez. David Benavidez's promoter, Samson Lukowitz, also threw shade at Canelo, stating that his legacy would be stained if he didn't fight Benavidez. Canelo Alvarez will make his legacy, and his legacy will be stained because he did not fight the best at this time, which is Benavidez, he stated. He then went on to add, I think the children, maybe the grandchildren one day, will ask him why he did not fight Benavidez, because he Canelo says he wants the best fights, but that's the best fight. Now he says he's going to fight an American in Las Vegas on May 4th. At one moment in the contract, it was Jermal Charlo. Now we don't know who the American might be. We have an idea of who it might be, but since I'm not involved in those negotiations, I can't say who it is because I don't know, but I do know that Canelo's legacy will be tarnished. His legacy, because if not, he'd be like a zebra, and his own children and grandchildren would say, Papa or Grandpa, why you fight Benavides? In a desperate attempt to lure Canelo to fight Benavides, Lukowicz was involved in a massive fumble recently, which prompted Canelo's team to react. Talk Sports' Michael Benson recently posted a tweet where he wrote, David Benavidez's promoter, Samson Lukowicz, has declared that Al Heyman's PBC has now offered Canelo Alvarez a guaranteed purse of $1.55 million to fight Benavidez next, who will be moving up to light heavyweight to fight Oleksandr Gvozdik instead if he turns it down. This is a staggering amount of money that is being offered to Canelo, but only a small bump up in pay from the $35 million low-risk fight that PBC is offering Alvarez to face Jaime Mungia for his next fight date on May 4th. It's unlikely that Canelo would have accepted the offer, especially considering the higher risk Canelo faces fighting Benavidez instead of a low-risk fight against Mungia. Nevertheless, this is a huge sum of money for a high-profile boxing bout between Canelo and Benavidez, and a lot of people reacted to the update on social media. One user wrote, If Canelo declines this, it's one of the bigger ducks in the sport, no excuses. Another joked, Man turns down 55 plus PPV points. He is not Mexican anymore. He is Anatidae and should be considered part of that family. A third user commented, Canelo is too busy signing up for a fourth fight with GGG, maybe a fifth one too while he's at it. Anything to avoid hash two in the division. Now Canelo's team responded to Sam Lukowicz's claim about the $1.55 million offer. Eddie Reynoso, 
the trainer and manager for the undisputed super middleweight champion, revealed that there was no $55 million offer given to them from Al Heyman's PBC for him to face David Benavidez in his next fight. Speaking to ESPN Knockout, Reynoso denied any offer being made for a Canelo versus Benavidez fight. He further said that within a week, they should have information about Canelo's next fight. We are considering the options. Being the biggest boxing star today does not mean that business is easy. We are looking for the best, and next week, we will give you the information, said Reynoso. If we have not said anything, it is because some things are missing. We continue working not only in May, but also in September. He also denied the rumors that Canelo is afraid of Benavidez. He said, I find it in very bad taste that they say that Canelo is afraid of him. I don't know how they dare to classify a fighter as fearful who did not hesitate to face Floyd Mayweather, who faced Miguel Cotto, who faced the fearsome Gennady Golovkin when he had knocked out half the world, who rose to light heavyweight risking everything to face Dmitry Bivol. The reality is that none of the big promoters have given me an offer to fight Benavidez. ESPN Max The way Reynoso is talking, it doesn't appear that Benavidez is in the cards. It's also learned that Benavidez's promoter Samson made this PBC offer up and later deleted his tweets. Angry fans blasted the boxing promoter on social media. One user wrote, Cap, as usual, using Canelo's name for clout, just like Wilder did with Joshua's name if he wasn't lying. Why did he delete the post? Another said, PBC is a disaster. Another frustrated user commented, they are out here lying. One user remarked, it's interesting how Samson made that up and went back on it completely. Are we sure it's Canelo who won't actually try to make the fight? It looks like Benavidez won't get his desired fight against Canelo at least not this year. So how does he navigate his career from here? Well, Benavidez has a bold strategy to get out of this misery of constant ducking by the undisputed champion. If reports are to be believed, the Mexican monster could soon announce a move to the light heavyweight division where he could fight Oleksandr Gvozdik if a fight with Canelo doesn't happen by the end of this year. The WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, recently posted on X, very proud to announce a sensational fight, which the AT WBC Boxing has approved to sanction for the interim light heavyweight championship, Benavidez versus Gvozdik. Wish the best of luck to both champions. At Benavidez 300 versus at Alexander Gvozdik at TGB Promotions at Premier Boxing. Though Suleiman treats the matchup as a done deal, it's been reported that this is a contingency plan for Benavidez if he can't secure a showdown with Canelo Alvarez. Benavidez's decision to target a fight with Gvozdik, a formidable opponent in the 175-pound division, is a testament to his confidence and ambition. Gvozdik, known for his technical skill and power, represents a significant challenge for any fighter moving up in weight. However, a victory against such a respected adversary would serve as a powerful statement to the boxing world about Benavidez's versatility and skill across weight classes. It would not only elevate his status, but could also amplify the clamor for a showdown with Canelo. Jose Benavidez claims that his son doesn't want to sit idle. David will fight anybody, said Benavidez Sr. The thing is, will they fight him? Whoever steps in, we're ready. We want to give the fans great fights. He went on to say this about Canelo. Canelo is almost on his way out, so we just have to stay patient, keep working, and stay focused. Canelo doesn't want anything to do with David. Every time he comes up with excuses, he wants to fight Jamie Munguia and Jermall Charlo and says David has fought nobody. Those are just excuses. He and his team will do anything to stay away from David. There is nothing we can do but just stay humble and focused, and our time will come. The Canelo era is turning into a circus, to be honest with you. The true 168 pounds king, the face of boxing, trying to fight 160S, 154S, 147S. That's ridiculous. That's not good for boxing. That's not cool. That's why Canelo's fans are coming over to David now. Imagine if we were doing that and fighting the little guys. Imagine us trying to fight Terence Crawford. My respect to Terence Crawford, but that's a little guy. There is no way Crawford can beat him. 
Alvarez is getting criticized, but he doesn't give a F asterisk asterisk asterisk. He doesn't care. He just wants to make money. Alvarez talks a lot of S asterisk 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 about David. But that's the fight everyone wants to see. Why doesn't he want to fight the monster? At the end of the day, he's scared to face David. Man, that's not good for boxing, man. To be honest with you, and especially the face of boxing, uh, the pound for pound king trying to fight this little guys, you know? I mean, I, I don't think that that's cool. That's why. However, it looks like David Benavidez will eventually move on from Canelo and the 168 pound division. His new home will be light heavyweight where some interesting fights await. The WBC will most likely mandate Benavidez to fight the winner of Bivol versus Bedeviev before they mandate him to fight Canelo Alvarez, which is crazy. Moreover, by aiming to become the mandatory challenger for the winner of the Bedebiev versus Bivol fight, Benavidez is strategically placing himself in the path of the light heavyweight division's elite. This is a division brimming with talent and home to some of the most compelling narratives in boxing today. A win over Gvozdik would offer him the opportunity to establish himself as a dominant force in two weight classes. By defeating Gvozdik, Benavidez could become the mandatory challenger for the undisputed title holder at light heavyweight. As mentioned earlier, this could be either Dmitry Bivol, a fighter whom Canelo lost to previously, or the Russian-Canadian fighter Artur Berbtiev, who currently holds the WBC, IBF, and WBO belts at light heavyweight. This bold strategy underscores Benavidez's refusal to be sidelined in the pursuit of greatness. In a sport where the biggest fights often slip through the cracks due to promotional disputes and financial disagreements, Benavidez is taking control of his destiny. He is not content to wait for opportunities to come his way. He is actively seeking them out, even if it means venturing into more challenging territories. A potential fight between Benavidez and Gvozdik seems challenging for the Mexican monster. But how would it go? A hypothetical fight between Benavidez and Gvozdik would be a fascinating clash of styles and physical attributes, given their respective records and capabilities. Gvozdik, known as the Nail, boasts a professional record of 20 wins, 16 by KO, and only one loss, with a notable background that includes holding the WBC and lineal light heavyweight titles from 2018 to 2019. His amateur career was distinguished by a bronze medal at the 2012 Olympics and a gold at the 2013 Summer Universiade. Gvozdik's knockout-to-win ratio stands at 77.7%, .7%, highlighting his power and precision in the ring. David Benavidez, on the other hand, is known for his aggressive style, formidable punching power, and excellent bodywork. Benavidez's ability to pressure opponents and his high-volume punching would test Gvozdik's defensive skills and stamina. Gvozdik's height, 6 feet 2 in, and reach, 75.5 in, could provide him with the means to manage the distance against Benavidez, potentially using his jab and footwork to keep the fight at a range where he could capitalize on his counterpunching skills. The fight could unfold with Gvozdik attempting to establish control early on, using his jab and movement to keep Benavidez at bay while looking for opportunities to land precise power shots. Benavidez, known for his resilience and ability to fight effectively on the inside, would likely seek to close the distance, applying pressure and targeting the body to wear Gvozdik down over the rounds. Given Gvozdik's experience at light heavyweight and his proven track record against top-level competition, including a victory over Adonis Stevenson to win the WBC and lineal titles, he would not be an easy target. However, Benavidez's relentless aggression, combined with his youth and power, could pose significant challenges for Gvozdik, especially in the later rounds. Ultimately, the outcome of this fight would hinge on several factors, including Gvozdik's ability to withstand Benavidez's pressure and power, as well as Benavidez's capacity to handle Gvozdik's technical skills and counter-punching. It would likely be a highly competitive and entertaining bout, with both fighters having the tools to secure a victory. As for Canelo, what are the implications for his career? Canelo now faces a unique challenge as David Benavidez's bold maneuvers ripple through the boxing community. Benavidez's aggressive strategy and his willingness to confront formidable opponents in pursuit of legacy-defining fights place Canelo in a position where the demand for a showdown between the two fighters could reach a fever pitch. 
This scenario presents both an opportunity and a conundrum for Canelo, whose career decisions have always been under intense scrutiny given his status as one of the sport's elite. Canelo's legacy is built on facing and overcoming the best challengers across multiple weight divisions. However, Benavidez's ascent and his explicit desire to fight Canelo added a layer of public expectation that could intensify the pressure on Canelo to accept the challenge. A fight with Benavidez, especially if the latter secures a significant victory in the light heavyweight division, would not just be another title defense for Canelo. It would be a mega fight with historical implications for both fighters. For Canelo, the implications of a potential fight with Benavidez extend beyond the ring. It's a chance to silence critics who may question his willingness to take on all comers. A victory over Benavidez, particularly if he continues to dominate his opponents, would reinforce Canelo's reputation as a fighter who does not shy away from challenges. Conversely, avoiding a fight with Benavidez could lead to speculation about Canelo's choice of opponents and potentially impact his legacy. Moreover, a blockbuster event featuring Canelo and Benavidez would be a financial windfall for all parties involved, promising substantial pay-per-view sales and gate receipts. Such a fight would captivate the boxing world, drawing attention from casual and hardcore fans alike. It represents not just a lucrative opportunity, but a chance to be part of a historic event that could be remembered for generations. The strategic implications for Canelo extend into the realm of legacy building. In an era where legacy is as much about the quality of opponents as it is about championship belts, facing a hungry, ambitious, and potentially dangerous opponent like Benavidez could be a defining moment for Canelo. It offers him the chance to prove once again that he is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter of his generation by taking on and defeating a rising star who is actively seeking his throne. But what do you think? Will Canelo accept a fight with Benavidez for May 4th? Or will the Mexican monster move to the light heavyweight division? Let us know in the comments.